Let's go for green. Come on, come on, come on. I'm really unlucky, but you know that by now, right? Here we won this is Zotekas, and in the quest to show you all the 4-1 solo games designed by René Knizia, um, I will show you Galactics today. And the order in which I will publish these videos is not set yet, so it's possible that you have already seen like one of the other games on my channel. Yeah, today it's Galactics' turn. Um, so what I will do is, um, the format I like the most, I will show you how the game plays, so I will play through the game. Um, show you like one session of a lower level of the like first challenge level after that I will like show you a little bit like how the game expands and also give you like a short unscripted review and I will not be doing a montage for this video like a setup montage because it's really easy and quick to set up so let me just show you um, for the first level we just put the board here and we don't need this board here and then also we need five dice and what we also need is like all of these like rockets and also like rocket parts. So we have like these rockets there and we have these. And then we will get a few things here. So we have like all of these white rockets here. Um, 10 of those we receive immediately. Let me just put those aside here. So uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then five we will put here at the top, like this. And then we have like these rocket parts. And these we will also put like at the top. We can get those during the game later on. Okay, so. And then we do have more we do have more um, components here, but I will talk about that a little bit later, like four different challenges, right? Okay, so, and that is pretty much already the setup of the game. There we go. All right, so let me just put these here a little bit nicer, and there we go. So that's pretty much like the setup of the game. As I said, we will be playing challenge one. So there's like a challenge booklet here with 20 challenges here. Um, and we will be playing the very, very first level here. Um, that is just like the, the simplest level um, there is for uh, for this book, just to kind of show you how this game works, right? Um, we need at least 12 points um, to just qualify for any ranking to uh, reach bronze. Um, but of course we will try to get 18 for the gold level. That would be like even better. Okay, so how the game works is pretty simple actually. You see we have these five lanes here, like uh, pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and we have these dice, and you see like the same colors on here. By the way, these dice, I have an unboxing for all four of these games, like in, in, within one video, um, then you can see it again, but these dice are really, really cool. Like this looks really, really, really slick. So what we do is uh, we roll these dice, and then we decide for one color. We can like choose one of these colors and then we start from the lowest rocket we have placed on that colored track. At the moment it's all like at, like none, so we start from the bottom. And then for example if we took the blue one we would count one, two, three and put a rocket there. Next time we would choose blue we would count from here, one, two, three, right? We would like go up and up. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to place the highest rocket because the higher um, the highest rocket is, the more points we get at the end of the game. We end the game when we have no more rockets to place. Um, when we reach a black field here, uh, we cannot put a rocket on there. So we couldn't choose that color, right? Um, and if we reach a, um, a, f a spot here with a rocket, then we gain a new rocket into our supply, right? These are the two extra spots we need to know. Um, also, let me put that aside. That kind of obstructs the view here. There we go. Um, also, another thing we need to know is we can have these tools here um, on our dice. And when we roll two, for each two that we roll, we can gain one of these ship parts, these rocket parts. And anytime during the game, we can use two rocket parts to get a new rocket. So that's pretty cool as well. So that was something, but I will choose blue anyway. So what we do is one, two, three, we go up here. I will place that rocket here and we get a new one. And we just roll again. That's like all we do. 
at least kind of. Uh, that's one thing I haven't shown you yet. Um, another thing we can do is like once after we have rolled, we can take as many dice as we want to to re-roll the dice. But that's all we can do like in terms of mitigation, but I think that's pretty good. And also, um, two last rules that we need to know. Um, if I choose, for example, purple, I have to like, these are like two purples, so we have to count two. I cannot say up to two, right? Only one or something. We need, and always need to go the full length. Except if I'm at the very top, at the very top, like uh, if I can go higher, right, then that's it. That's fine. Um, then I can just um, leave out like the higher numbers, <clears throat> like any extra steps that I would have to take there, but I can't. Um, and the last thing is if I don't want to put a rock down or I can't, then I have to take one rocket from the supply and remove it again. And I think now we have all rules down. Um, so let me see. I would like purple... Not a four because we can put can't put anything there, but one or three more purples. So let's see. Yeah, no, no purples. All right. So either two purple would be up here, one yellow or one pink. Let's do two purples. I think. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So let's put it right there. Okay. Three yellows. That wouldn't work, right? Because there is one of these black holes. But I will reroll these two and hope for at least one more. No. So I can't use the yellow ones, right? But either I can go up one with green or one with the blue ones. And let me go one up with the green because there's a black hole anyway. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so we have uh, these two. These would give us a, uh, a rocket part if I chose to keep those. Um, and then I would like to maybe continue with green. That wouldn't work, so we will take blue. So I will go two up with the blue one here, right? And also, because we have two of these tools, we get one rocket part. Um, as I said, for two rocket parts, we can get another rocket. The other thing we can do is when we actually like, because if I like go up here, let's say, I don't know, let's say I had a rocket right here, right? And then I would have like two yellows. That means I would have to skip this one and put a rocket there and I would skip that, that spot there, right? But I could. Like when I skip it, put one of these parts there in order to activate that spot, right? So I would get another rocket. So that's also something else we can do with these rocket parts, which is pretty cool. Um, did I do everything that I could do? Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so we still have a few rockets, but not too many. We need to like kind of get ahead. Green is good. Let's go for green. Come on, come on, come on. I'm really unlucky, but you know that by now, right? So two greens, that's fine. We will skip that black hole. That is okay. It's not perfect, but I guess it's okay. Uh, pink. We are, Oh, pink is also something that we need, right? Um, because there's only one blue, only one yellow. Yeah, let's take the pinks and see what we get there. All right, another pink. That's three pinks. That's actually pretty good because four wouldn't have worked. So that's fine. Okay. Then here, two greens would be good. Yes, green, we have like a pretty long route here. Also, blue wouldn't be too bad because we would jump from two to four points immediately. Mm, yeah, blue, but blue is a little bit dangerous here, right? Uh, so, you know what? Let's continue with green for now. That's a little bit safer. Okay, nothing. Uh, but I will still, I will still take these two green ones right there. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of rockets anymore. I'm not doing too well, to be honest. I'm not really happy with that. I will keep that because we might need another rocket quite soon. Um, and also, let's see. So pink would be quite dangerous now. Let's go with green again and let's hope that nothing. But we do have a few of those, right? So I would definitely take uh, one of those parts here. And yeah, I will exchange those a little bit later. And then one green or one purple. I think I will actually go up one. No, I will go up one green. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, three yellows. Oh, that's very risky. But one more yellow would be amazing. Let's hope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. So now I can't put any rocket down, right? So I lose one, but I get one of these parts at least. Okay, that was pretty bad. Oops. So let's see. Purples. Two purples. Hey, let's see. Maybe we can get a third purple. No, we can't. But I will get another part here. And then uh, two purples won't work. So I will have to take the 
yellow one here. Okay, we have only one rocket left. So let me take these two and exchange one for this rocket here. Okay. Oh, now we have all the colors. Okay, I'm really, really unlucky today. Really unlucky. Um, so I will keep this because we will need those parts. Green is pretty good because we will be able to get a rocket at some point, I hope. So let's just hope that we get a few green ones here. Only one. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. So we are up there. That's five points now. Well, we want at least 12 points. At the moment, we would have five, seven, seven points only. That's really not good. So let's see. Uh, pink. We would need three pinks. We could go for yellow, maybe. Also, like blue wouldn't be too bad. Let's go for blue. But also keep that one, just in case. All right, we would have two blues. Or oh, one green. One green would also be quite good. I think that's almost better because we get another rocket. In, mm, yeah, let's do that. And then get another rocket. Okay, I think that's good. Three pinks. Oh, that's perfect. We can just go up there. Oh, that's perfect. Let's continue there. Okay, just three. But that's better than that's better than nothing. Let's put these three over there and then exchange these two for another rocket. Otherwise we end the game, right? Okay, so at the moment we have six, nine, eleven points. Okay, we need one more point just to at least have bronze. Yeah, that's not my best game actually. I'm quite unlucky here. So green, yeah, we can fill that up. That would be okay. We could also go for yellow. Do you know what I will do? I will, I think, reroll these two here. One, two, yeah, let's... It will be our last round in any case, I think. Well, not quite. Let's see what we roll. If we roll a pink, which we do. Oh, okay, now it's interesting. Three yellows would give us one point, but one pink would give us one point and another rocket. So let's do that. Let's do that. So we get another rocket, so we have one more turn. That's not too bad. Okay, so two pinks, that's another two points. Um, and also the green would also be another point. Also didn't quite do it correctly. I just I just realized, like I don't exchange these two for a rocket. What I usually do is I take these two and put them like on that spot as if they were a rocket, right? Um, that's because I can get more rockets from the supply. But in case I do get more rockets, I, can, I will just take them from there instead, you know? Okay, so um, yeah, I think I will take these two here because potentially I could like ramp that up four points. That would be quite a lot. So let's see. Yes, three pinks, one, two, three. We can all get, go all the way up there. And that's it because I don't have any rockets left anymore. So that's the end of the game. What we do now is now we just um, count up all the points we have here. And that is really simple because we just go like for each color, we just see how many we have. So we have eight plus zero, that's still <laughs> that's still eight, well, that's not a whole lot. Then we have, for green, we have six, so that is 14. Then for blue, we have two, that is 16. And for purple, we don't get anything. So we have 16 points, and that is not hor horrible, um, given that we didn't really do well at the beginning. So let me get the challenge book, so we can take a look here. Um, so we see here, right, with 16 points, we have silver, two more points, we would have gotten gold. Right, so we didn't we didn't actually do too bad to be honest. All right, so that was already the playthrough of Galactics. Um, let me first say a few things about the uh, about like the challenges here, and then um, we can also then I will talk a little bit about um, my review, like what I think about the game. So um, there are like different chapters here. Yeah? I think there are four. Yeah, four different chapters, and for each chapter we have different boards. Like we have the other side here, and then we also um, have another board right here for uh, chapters three and four. You see like there's a lot of stuff going on. And that is amazing with these uh, with these for one solo games. They all have this challenge book and they all increase like a lot in challenge. So you see, this game was quite simple actually, right? We got silver, although we didn't do too well, right? But there are a few mitigation things. You can like reroll and stuff so that worked quite well. But the challenges get harder and harder. You see, there are like more components here, right? That do things a lot harder. You also see like more and more things here on the on the boards, right? Um, so these like get way harder. You need higher scores. You have like uh, specific things where you can't put anything, for example, or um, 
where you have like different kinds of rockets, but not only bad things, but also good things. There are like black rockets that you can get that count for um, any color. So you can just, uh, like whenever you roll, you can just put, um, you can just, um, if you, for example, if I were to take two green ones, I can take them as blue ones and put a black rocket on the blue track instead. So that is pretty nice. So there are like a lot of things that uh, are changed like in these challenges here, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is a re this is really well done because that um, really ups the, uh, the replayability of the game. But talking about that, let's jump to like my small unscripted review. Like how do I like the game? As it is with all the games, all four games in the For One series, um, I like them all. Um, and this one is no exception. All games have like a very simple entry point. You can read the rules with, the rules are just four pages. You can read the rules uh, within like five minutes, um, set up the game and then play the game. So you're done with the first game within 15 or 20 minutes without having played it before. It's such, it's such an, it does such a good job of easing you into the game. And if you think like, okay, well, it's too simple. Well, just continue ahead. Let's continue ahead with the challenges because, um, yeah, the challenges that keep increasing, they are really exciting. And you should probably, you, sh you probably should like at least reach bronze to be able to jump to the next level. And then you can replay all the levels and try to get gold on all of them. Until you are done with all of that in this game, that takes a little while, I think. And it's pretty fun because like the challenges are quite uh, different from each other. Of course, the main premise of the game is the same, but I mean, of course it is, right? But like the challenges do mix up the game or shake up the game quite a bit, and that is great. Going back a little bit, talking about the components, which I usually talk about before, um, really thick, nice uh, cardboard tokens here, also the boards and also the dice are really, really nice. So um, that is something that is really good. So the components are very nice and also like the art style quite a lot, right? It like pops quite a bit. These colors are very nice. Like the purple is a little bit dark, you can hardly see it, like, like not see it that well on the die. But I think that's also fine because it's the only one you cannot see that well. And then you know, okay, it's purple, right? But that's like, that's not perfect, right? But um, everything else is really nice. Even like the tools are really like, shiny. You probably see it that they are like a little bit shiny. That's really cool. So um, really good game. It's a lot of fun. Um, this is like a game that is really easy to get into. Now I drew on my hand. That is wonderful. But it still has like a, quite a lot of tactical thinking. This first level is still okay, but later on, like the, the tactical thinking gets more and more. This is probably of all the four games, it's the most gamey game here, right? But every game has like um, specific tactics you can employ like in, the, in their own rights. And this one is no different, but it is different from the other games, right? So uh, very, very good. This actually is one of my favorites here as well. That's a very, very nice one because you just get to roll these really cool dice and you always need to, need to think like you have that kind of Yahtzee thing, like, okay, how many do I reroll? Which ones do I reroll? Okay, and now, oh no, now I don't really have anything. Okay, which which route will I take? Will I, will I actually push my luck and try to like get, get up here, right? But like every second die I could roll, could like not let me advance at all, right? So there are a lot of things that you need to uh, think of, or do I keep these just for mitigation later on? There are a lot of decisions you have to make, and I love that in game. Very nice decision space with a very low entry, which is nice. And also like the, the, um, the table space it needs is like very minimal, right? It's just this board essentially, and then these dice, even those you could like keep in the box or put wherever, right? I mean, this is pretty well done. I like this a lot. Um, so all four games are great, um, and this one is no exception. Um, this game will also get my Third Thackers Ace of Games Award. I just cannot tell you yet which one, because I'm still determining that. I still want to play more games, but um, I will definitely get one of these awards. But whether silver or gold, I cannot tell you yet. But really well done. At first, I was a little bit on the fence about like, the 4-1 for one, uh, for one games, because, well, it sounded really interesting, but... As far as I know, Ranaknitia is not known for just pure solo games. At least, not that I am aware of. Maybe um, there's something I don't know. So I was really, like, pleasantly surprised, like, how good these games really are. They are really good. They have a small form factor. If you own more of those, um, you can, like, put several in the box. That's, what, like, in one or two boxes. That's also what I would do to, like, reduce uh, shelf space a little bit. But really nice, really well done. So, yeah. That, um, I can highly recommend that if you like a little bit like these push your luck and uh, dice rolling games and or if you like good solo game and that is good solo games and that definitely is a really good solo game here. So I can highly recommend that one.
One thing is, at the moment, this only exists in German and also only in Germany, as far as I know. So you can get it in Europe, that's fine. Um, outside of Europe, I think it's kind of hard to get at the moment. If you can get it, I would still suggest you do. And then uh, either like watch me, I mean, you watch my video right now, you kind of know how it plays. And for everything else, it has a little bit of text here in the challenge book. Um, I guess you could also like translate that somehow. I'll get that translated, it's not too much text. I hope they will release all of these games in English because they are really good. And I think they really need to be spread to a wider audience. I like those a lot. Really good games, seriously. But enough about that. Um, that marks the end of my showcase of Galactics, um, a game in the For One series by Rainer Knizia. I really hope you enjoyed my video. As usual, I want to thank all of you for your support. I really, really appreciate that. Especially, I want to thank my patrons who are very generous by supporting me on Patreon on a monthly basis. I'm very grateful for that. The biggest shout out goes out to Thak, and who's currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. There are numerous ways to support me. You can, oops, like my videos, you can comment below them. You can even subscribe to my channel if you like my content enough, which would be amazing. You can also support me on Patreon. And what you can also do is go to Discord and join my server there to hang out with me and my amazing community. I'd love to welcome you over there. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the very next video or on my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.